When most people get flip resets or ceiling shots, they'll flip into the ball like this. They'll do an upside down front flip, which is great, but what you should actually be doing is an upside down front flip cancel. So you're doing the same motion, upside down front flip, but you're just pulling straight back instantly. And what you're going to see is that my car gets kind of stuck in the upright position, which is great because that's going to allow you to continue air dribbling, continue air rolling. It's going to allow you to go for a flip reset, double tap. It's just going to be a lot easier. So if I use that front flip cancel, you're going to see that I actually get stuck behind the ball like this. All right, and so I can go for a double tap. If I do it with a flip reset, I can maybe get another reset. Right, so I get two resets instead, and that's just because of the cancel. So if I go for a flip reset without the cancel, I'm really not going to be able to follow up on the ball. Right, so sure, I can hit it like that, but I can't do much from this position. So if you just cancel, you'll have a lot more control with your flip resets and ceiling shots.